a group of cyclists have chosen to ditch their gears for a fixed gear setup. Here we are at Just Ride It Fix, where we'll be meeting a couple of guys who helped pioneer fixed gear cycling in Melbourne. We caught up with Steve Atkinson, the owner. Hello. Hey Steve, how are you? I'm great, yourself? Yeah, good. Good to see you. Could you show us the difference between a freewheel and a fixed gear? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a, a classic example of a fixed gear bike. This obviously is the crank, the chain, and this goes to a fixed cog on the back wheel. So as you can see, if we start pedaling, the wheel turns. When you stop pedaling, the wheel stops. And you can actually go backwards as well. So when you want to slow down, you slow your legs down, and it slows down. Back wheel of this bike, so it's a normal standard of bike. So you're going down a hill, you stop, and that's a free wheel, so it coasts. So you can stop pedaling, you can relax. Not as much control. Fixed gear cycling, to many, is more than just a mode of transport. It's about being a part of a community. Fixed gear cyclists have taken a lot of criticism from the media due to the perceived lack of safety. This hasn't weakened the community spirit. The uh, reason why I like fixed, it's just, you know, it's fun, it's it. It's the only way to ride a bike, it's a real bike. Single speed's the best way to ride bikes. It's a culture, man. We're starting it. No one else is doing it. That's how we're doing it. Every weekend, sun is shining. Instead of going for a run, I just go for cruising my bike. What possibly more could you need? Single speed, straight up, nothing else. Fixed gear cycling is an important part of Melbourne culture, but what's also important is remaining safe. We spoke to the TAC about the dangers of cycling in Melbourne and cycling safety. If the person operating a fixed gear bike has the correct skills and is riding the bike appropriately, there is no evidence to suggest fixed gear bicycles are more dangerous than other bikes. But the fact remains that cyclists are some of their most vulnerable road users because they're unprotected when the unexpected happens. Everyone has a role to play in making the roads safe for all road users. Motorists should be patient when sharing the road with cyclists and ensure they leave enough space when overtaking. Cyclists should make sure they're highly visible predictable and wearing protective gear. Early 2017, I had an accident where I was hit by a car while riding this exact bike. This guy is the one reason I'm still alive. Knee pads, elbow pads, I used to ride, uh, wear all that kind of stuff when I was riding. I used to wear everything. Wear a helmet, obviously it's law to wear a helmet in Australia anyway, so wear a helmet, wear knee pads, wear arm pads, get, get prepared to fall off, which is gonna happen. Practice, practice, find a, find a car park, practice how to ride fixed gear before you actually hit the street, definitely. Generally we'll put everybody in freewheel first and say look, come back in a few months, we'll put you on fixed gear once you've got confidence, once you've, you've, you've learnt the bike, once you're confident on the frame. It's all about the culture, you know, it's all about, you know, it's all about getting people on bikes, isn't it? Getting people out of cars, yeah. that's, I mean, that's true to my heart. Now guys, fixed gear cycling is not only healthy, but it's fun and exciting. Remembering your safety equipment like your helmet and your front and rear brakes is super important. And happy cycling.